I also wanted to show you here at the El Dorado, you got two more level twos here. This is right at the bottom of the parking garage. There's a Tesla destination charger. Another Tesla te destination charger. I mean, this is like a Tesla parking lot, this hotel. You've got like four, let's see, one, two, three, four spots for EVs here. Five cords, five charging outlets, and four spots. Isn't that amazing? Then you got the B3 superchargers. I don't know how long these have been here. When I looked it up online, they were saying that uh, they were welcoming Tesla to the Eldorado, but I didn't check the timestamp there when they put that, but they look fairly new. I mean, these are the B3. We're here in Reno. <laughs> the ice cars just take up a lot of spots, but it's not very busy and no one seems to complain. And I'm not gonna complain too much because I'm gonna leave my car overnight. There's another Model 3 on the supercharger. Another ice car. I wanted to come out here real quick. We're gonna be leaving in the morning. I wanted to see how much battery the short range uh, has at full charge. So I got my Model 3, the long range right here. And then we've got the standard range Model 3, the $35,000 base Model 3. This is my mom's car. Let's go ahead and uh, get inside. I got the Tesla card. Alright, so I can't believe that she's lost a lot of miles. So this is the standard range. We are in winter time, so I'm sure that this miles might go up a few miles, but look at that, 187 miles on full charge, standard range Model 3. Um, rep Tesla says uh, 220 miles uh, from the factory. When the most amount of miles I ever saw on this car was like 208 or 209. I never saw the 220. Um, but that's where she is. Let's jump into my car. Well, my car is not charged, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my Model 3 into this spot and we're gonna leave them overnight. It's really awesome here in Reno, here at the El Dorado Casino and Hotel. No snow today, it's good 45 degrees. This has to be the number one supercharger in my book ever. And you got the Model X, he's been here overnight. Just sitting there, love this place. All right guys, so we're gonna do the range test uh, comparison on the way hitting the superchargers back home to Vegas tomorrow. So we'll see you when we get there. All right, I had to get this shot because I almost rarely ever get to be together with me and my mom and both of our Teslas. But we got the standard range on the right and the long range on the left. The only difference is those door handles you know one thing I want to tell you guys about the standard range uh, since I drove it over here got put a, quite a few miles on it is that when you roll up the window and you continue to roll it up it sounds like there's an air gap when you're on the highway on my model 3 I've never ex experienced that another thing I was experiencing on the way over here is that we were dipping into the 28 degree temperature range and I noticed Every once in a while you hear a bang and a clunk, like that sound of metal expanding and contracting. I know there's been a lot of posts in, uh, here and there on the Tesla forums about people experiencing this. Most of the time it's when charging, but this is the first time that I've ever experienced it while we were just cruising. And it happened about 10 to 15 times, so it's not something that just happened. But I wanted to throw that in there. I told her to go ahead and make an appointment for service and they should know what she's talking about. So. Uh, but I think it's just that expanding and contracting it doesn't seem like it's anything uh, major. Let's hope not. All right, we'll see you guys. There's a little sky terrace that you can uh, walk through to get to the parking lot. And you can see the Teslas from here. I can also see the cars from the window of the hotel. I'll show you where our room's at. Our room is up there on like the 18th floor. It overlooks the parking lot, which is awesome. So we get to see our Teslas from the window. Welcome back. We made it to the Hawthorne Supercharger coming from Reno, heading to Las Vegas. 
Before we plug in, I want to double check the watt hours per mile. So it looks like we went 124 miles on that leg. And this is in the long range Model 3 rear wheel drive, 262 watt hours per mile. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. This is a 150 kilowatt uh, supercharger here in Hawthorne. <clears throat> Let's go check the short range, see what type of uh, efficiency it was getting. All right, so now we're in, went 124.3 miles, 249 kilowatts, uh, watt hours per mile, 249 watt hours per mile. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plug in, see what speed she's charging at. So the short range has 35 miles on the battery. And let's double check what that is. So right at 19% state of charge. And let's see what it ramps up to. Then we'll check the uh, long range. Since that last update, they increased the standard range for uh, supercharging speed, which is great. This this standard range actually charges really fast. From uh, the bottom of the battery up to the top of the battery, it charges pretty quickly. So we're hitting about 136 kilowatts. Let's check the long range. And long range is at 77 kilowatts. Of course, the long range had a, a lot more battery. When we plugged in, yeah, it had probably 45% battery. So we're getting about 76 kilowatts. Very good. All right, we'll see you guys on the next leg at Tonopah. All right, we made it to the Tonopah Supercharger, 103 miles on that leg, 314 watt hours per mile. That was in the long range, Model 3. So on the last leg, 103 miles, 298 watt hours per mile. This is in the standard range. Total of 30 miles, 31 miles left. All right, I'm a, we got the standard range plugged in. I'm gonna plug in the long range and see what they're charging at. It is chilly out here in the middle of the desert. All right. One thirty. These are one hundred and fifty kilowatt max superchargers. The standard rain charges fast with the small pack. So we're getting about 140. And let's check in the long range. And the long range we're getting 121 kilowatts. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next leg in Beatty. This is Tonopah. All these towns in between Las Vegas and Reno seem to be like old mining towns. Very, very haunted out here. Alright, we'll see you on the next leg. Alright, we're here in the city of Goldfield, Nevada. This is the 
haunted Goldfield Hotel. And it is definitely haunted. Trust me on that. This whole area is like half abandoned. It's so strange to see all these old buildings that are like semi-abandoned. This one actually actually has some uh, upgrades to it. Crazy little mining town of Goldfield. What does it say? It says Goldfield Hotel currently looking for licensed contractors. Concrete, plumb, and electrical masonry work, drop down ceilings. Looks like they want to do some renovations to this place. Can you see in there? All right, back on the road to Beatty. Yeah. All right, so we're here in Beatty, Nevada. That last leg was 93 miles and averaged 245 watt hours per mile. This is the standard range Model 3. I'll go ahead and plug it into the supercharger. All right, we're here in the city of Beatty. Heading back. This is the last leg from Reno to Las Vegas. Oh, something's wrong here. Oh, there it is. 93.1 miles, 249 watt hours per mile. And that's in the long range Tesla Model 3. Plug it in. Let's see what the standard range is charging at. All right, standard range is charging at 129, 130 kilowatts. We came in with about 39 miles. Drop down to 122. Let's see what the long range is charging at. <coughs> long range is charging at 114 kilowatts. All right, everybody, so that's gonna wrap it up for the video. This is the last leg, and then we're gonna be back in Las Vegas charging on our on our house charger. Um, but I did wanna say one thing. So when we left Reno in the morning, I didn't get it on video, but we had 187 miles on the standard range. On the long range, I had 300, 300 miles of range on the long range rear wheel drive. Um, the standard range is supposed to be 220, you know, as advertised. But we are in the winter time, we have lost a little bit of juice on it, so we're averaging 187 in the winter. Uh, the Model 3, and by the way, it has about 5,000 miles on the standard range. And then my Model 3 long range here has about 23,000 miles, and we're getting about 300 miles to a full charge. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, hit like, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.
Alright, she's fully charged.